views give you comfort and confidence from the first practice to first place. The Speedo Vanquisher 2.0. L'actualité sportive, la sensation olympique canadienne Hillary Caldwell prend sa retraite de la compétition. Hello? Hi Hillary, it's Derek. Oh hey Derek. I hear you're retiring. Well, listen, before you do, remember when you came out to the farm I was coaching you for a while? Well, I'm coming out to the pool and you're going to coach me. Awesome, come on over.
Shooting webs like worldwide, man had it all the way to Yonkers. When it's a Brooklyn stand up, Stand up, you better just fix your posture and every Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day one finals here at the 2019 Canadian Swimming Championships. At this time, we would ask everyone who is able to please rise, remove your hats, and join Miss Kira Prasad in the singing of our Canadian national anthem. Far and wide, oh 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you your referees and officials for tonight for our women's events. Your referee will be Mr. Peter Burke. Starter is Susan Wong. For our women's events, Mr. Larry Crobot, your referee. Your starter, Mrs. Maggie Middleton. For our para events, referee will be Mrs. Sandra Brousseau. And your starter, Mr. Jeff Holmes. Your referees and starters for this evening's session. And with that, we are about ready to get underway with our very first event of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your finalists, your top eight seated swimmers in the women's 800 meter freestyle. Swimming in lane number one from the Comox Valley Aquatic Club, Brooke Lamaru. In lane number two from Camo, Daphne Demur. Swimming in lane number three from Etobicoke Swimming, Summer McIntosh. Swimming in lane number four, also from Etobicoke Swimming, Katrina Bellio. In lane number five, from the University of Calgary Swim Club, Merritt Anderson. Swimming in lane six, from the Burlington Aquatic Devil Rays, Kenna Smolgain. In lane number seven, from the Whitby Dolphins, Kate Sullivan. And in lane number eight, from Island Swimming, Kyla Ross. Your top eight seated swimmers in the women's 800 meter freestyle. This is a time final event. This will be heat number one, Mr. Referee. And off the swimmers go, Merritt Anderson, lane number five, member of the World Student Games team for the University of Calgary. Number two seed in lane five, the number one seed, Katrina Bellio from Etobicoke Swimming in lane number four. She's entered in 8.41.77. This is, it is a time final event. Results from this morning will be combined with the swims that we have tonight. Our top swim this morning, put up by Rosalie Davidson from Neptune, a time of 9.07.34. First 100 meters, it's Anderson in lane at number five and a 102.6. Tenth of a second ahead of Bellio. Summer McIntosh in lane number three. Currently sitting third is a Canadian national age group record holder in this event with an 851.79. 
She's turning third out in front. By a half second is Anderson in lane at number five. Right on her heels is Velio. And then 12 year old Summer McIntosh sitting third in lane number three. Hippie bippy sending me pretty pictures. She told me no religion was the new religion. She said she don't. Bellio in lane number four was set the Canadian national age group mark for 14 year old swimmers, 13 and 14 year old girls earlier this summer. Time of 8.41.77. Got two national age group record holders here in our top eight seated swimmers. Bellio in lane number four, 13 to 14 year old, and McIntosh, 11 to 12 year old national record holder in lane number three. Up them with them is lane number five, Merritt Anderson from the University of Calgary. As they come to the 300 meter mark, Bellio now taking the lead by one tenth of a second as they turn in 3.15.2 to 3.15.3. McIntosh still in the fight at 3.15.8 and Lane at number three of the field. Top three swimmers now, two body lengths ahead of the rest of the field. And this will be the 400 meter mark, the halfway point. As we come around this wall, Bellio in lane at number four. Gaining a bit of ground over that last 100 meters. He turns at 421 to nine tenths of a second up on Anderson. McIntosh swimming right with Anderson, three tenths back in lane number three. Anderson was bronze medal position in this event at the Canadian Trials. Back in April, Bellio was fourth place in this event there. While McIntosh managed a top eight finish, finishing seventh overall at the Canadian Trials in April has selected our world championship team. Bellio gaining more ground on that 100. She's two full seconds up on Anderson now. Great race for that silver and bronze between Merritt Anderson in lane number five and Summer McIntosh from Etobicoke in lane three. And Billy up nearly three seconds now as she comes to the 600 meter mark. Did her lifetime best time of 8.41.77 just before she turned 15 at the end of June. And a solid 33.050. Anderson starting to pick it up with a 33.5 on that last 50. She's distanced herself a little bit from Summer McIntosh. Swimmers now at this wall will have 150 meters left to go. Go! 
And Belio still gaining ground. Here come the bells. 100 meters left to go if you're a race leader in lane number four from Atobico. Katrina Bellio. Turning at 739-50. Anderson follows in 743. And then Summer McIntosh at 745. McIntosh chasing her own national age group mark of 851.79. And just 15 meters left to go for Katrina Bellio from Etobicoke Swimming in lane number four. This one's going to be Bellio in lane number four, winning our women's 800 meter freestyle. Time of 844.58. Second goes to Merritt Anderson in lane number five, and bronze to Summer McIntosh in lane number three. Ladies and gentlemen, 851.71. That is a new national age group mark for Summer McIntosh at Topico Swimming in the girls' 11 and 12 800 meter freestyle. Just waiting for the board to scroll for we get official results. And the results on the board are official, and with that, a new national age group mark, Etobicoke Swimming's Summer Macintosh, 851. 71. And here comes our next set of A finalists. This is the top heat of the men's 1500 meter freestyle time final event. Swimming in lane number one from the Edmonton Piano Swim Club, Michael Antifayoff. In lane number two from the Point Claire Swim Club, Eric Brown. In lane three, also from the Point Claire Swim Club, Patrick Hussey. Swimming in lane number four from the University of Victoria, Pacific Coast, Eric Hedlund. In lane number five from the Regina Dolphin swim team, Michael McGilvery. In lane number six from the Kamloops Classics, Riley McRae. In lane seven from the Manta Swim Club, Alexander Axon. And in lane number eight from University of Laval, Nathan Baduin-Bodolph. 
top eight seeded swimmers in the men's 1500 meter freestyle, this is a referee. Out in front through first 100 meters, Eric Hedlund and a 58.84. Hedlund, bronze medalist at the 5K open water event held at the World Championships just a couple weeks ago. Leading the way in this one, he's seated with a 15.24.78. Fastest time he had this morning was 16.02.13 by Andrew Runowski from Simon Fraser. And Hedlund using this open in the pool event as part of his training in the open water turns around in front by a full body length at the 200 meter mark at two minutes. McGilvery sits second from Regina in lane number five and then third. That's Matt the Swim Club's Alexander Axon in lane seven. Hedlund is about a second and a half up on Michael McGilvery. And as he comes to the 300 meter mark, a great race for more top three finishes here. The field still bunched together. They're trying to be better than a 16.02 done this morning. Hedlund goes through a 300 meter mark out in front in a 301.69. Hedlund's still laughing, very solid 30 point mids. As he comes to the 400 meter mark, gaining ground on the field. McGilvery sitting in second. Close race for third in lane six and seven. Riley McRae from Kamloops and Alexander Axon from Manta. Four split for Headland on that fourth 100 going through the 400 meter mark in 403-12. Got four seconds up on McGilvery. McRae sitting a second back in lane number six.
As will be the 500 meter mark for your race leader, Eric Hedlund. Laving 102.0 on that fifth 100, turning in 505.1. McGilvery sitting in second. Here comes Riley McRae, though. McRae gaining ground. He's only three tenths of a second back of McGilvery. Turning in 606, back into the 101 to the 1015 on that 6100. Gilbrey now being passed by McRae. McRae taking over that silver medal position just ahead of Michael McGilvery. Headland back at the 101.5s consistently here through 700 meters at Now that entry time, 15, 24, 78. Canadian record in this event set by Ryan Cochran at the 2012 Olympic Games, a time of 14, 39, 6'3". time in this event last summer at the Canadian Swimming Trials in Edmonton was a 15.38.5.6. You should see Headland well underneath that time. As he's out in front, followed by Riley McRae. And then Michael McGilvery as the field though starts to move up. Patrick Hussey, Eric Brown, all within striking distance. Getting themselves onto the podium as Hedlund comes in. Turning at the 900 meter mark. Now in a 
There goes Eric Headland, 1,000 meters gone in 10.13.4. Does have a lifetime best time set six years ago at a 15.03. It was done at the World Championship Trials in April of 2013. Headland now specializing in the open water events. He picked up a bronze medal, as we mentioned, at the World Championships just two weeks ago in the 5K event. And Hedlund still laughing very consistently. As he comes to the 1100 meter mark now, 400 meters to go. Your race leader in lane number four, Eric Hedlund. McRae solidly in second and a great race for that bronze medal. In lanes two and three between two point player teammates, Eric Brown in two and Patrick Hussey in lane three. Hussey with the lead over Brown. And the two of them now have a little bit less than 400 meters to go, trying to get up to McRae, swimming in lane six. Just a reminder that the scratch deadline for tomorrow's preliminaries is 6 p.m. tonight. Once again, scratch deadline for tomorrow morning's preliminaries is 6 p.m. tonight into the clerk, of course. Coaches, you have about five minutes to get any scratches in for tomorrow morning's preliminaries to the clerk, of course. Once again, that deadline, 6 p.m. And 300 meters left to go. We'll see how close to Headland can get to that 1520 mark. Did 1524 earlier this year, winning the U Sport Championships. And 200 meters left to go now for Eric Headland. McRae in second, 200 meters to go, and then still a battle between Brown and Hussey in lanes two and three. See which one of these point player swimmers can get themselves on the podium in that last position. Sitting about three seconds back of McRae. Riley McRae entered in a 15.46.6. Brown and Hussey at 15.40 and 15.47. And the bells are gonna come out for your race leader in lane number four, Eric Hedlund. Just 100 meters left to go here in our fastest heat of the men's 1500 meter freestyle. And here goes Eric Brown from Point Claire trying to get ahead and pass his teammate Hussey and maybe even get up to Riley McRae in lane number six. These two Point Claire swimmers in the hunt trying to get themselves on the podium. Look at Brown go in lane two. Hussey in lane three trying to claw his way back up onto that podium. It's a great three-way race for that silver and bronze medal.
but the gold medal is going to go to world championship bronze medalist representing University of Victoria Pacific Coast Eric Hedlund in lane number four as he comes in for the win in a 15-24-4-2. Check out this race for the silver and bronze. The two point Claire swimmers have gone by McRae, and now it's a battle between these two teammates to see who'll get in on top. And at the touch by four one hundredths of a second, Patrick Hussey from Point Claire takes the silver medal while his teammate Eric Brown in lane two grabs the bronze. Once again, a reminder, all coaches and teams, scratch deadline is up in a little over a minute here, 6 p.m. into the clerk, of course. Any last minute scratches for tomorrow morning's preliminaries into the clerk, of course, by 6 p.m. Times on the board are good. Your top three finishers, Hussey, Brown, and Headland. Next up, this is the B final of event number one, which is the women's 200 meter backstroke. Mr. Referee. Up it is, the B final of the girls' two meter backstroke. Swimming in lane number one is Hannah Edwards from Uvic Pacific Coast. Lane two is Alicia Arcan from Neptune. Lane number three, Angelica Bath from China. Lane number four, Rayleigh Carey from the Sioux Surge. Lane five, Sarah Molson from Oakville. Lane six from the Spartan Swim Club, Haley Clank. Lane number seven from Oakville Aquatic Club, Dylan Scholes. And in lane number eight, from Neptune, Daphne Danilock. After this heat, we will be doing award presentations for both the 800 meter freestyle for the women and the 1500 meter freestyle for the men. If we get our medalists to the awards podium, medal presentations for both the 800 meter freestyle and the 1500 meter freestyle following this event. Fifty meters left to go for Rayleigh Carey in lane number four. Carey from the Sioux Surge, two sixteen five six this morning in prelims. Right beside her, Sarah Molson from the Oakville Aquatic Club, sitting in second. It's going to be Carey from the Sioux Surge in lane number four, two sixteen five six this morning, winning our B final tonight in a. 215 08. 
Results on the board are official. Next up will be awards presentations for the 800 meter freestyle and 1500 meter freestyle events. And with us tonight to present medals throughout the evening, Mr. Jeff Fanadiak, CEO of Sport Manitoba. Medalists now in the girls 800 meter freestyle, winning the bronze medal and setting an 11 and 12 girls national age group mark time of 851.71 from Etobicoke Swimming, Summer McIntosh. <laughs> Winning the silver medal representing the University of Calgary Swim Club, Merritt Anderson. And winning the gold medal in a time of 8.44.58, representing Etobicoke Swimming, Katrina Bellio. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, those are your medalists in the women's 800 meter freestyle. Next up will be medal presentations for our men's 1500 meter freestyle event. Winning the bronze medal. Representing the Point Claire Swim Club Eric Brown. <laughs> Winning the silver medal, also representing the Point Clair Swim Club, Patrick Hussey. And your gold medalist, who earlier this summer won a bronze medal at the World Championships in the Open Water 5K, winning the event here tonight at a time of 15.24.42 from the University of Victoria Pacific Coast, Eric Hedlund. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your medalist in the men's 1500 meter freestyle. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is our next event. Please welcome to the pool deck your finalists in the women's 200 meter backstroke. The beat that I'm banging is delicious. Fergalicious definition, make them boys go loco. They want my treasures, so they get their pleasures from my boat. So you can see me, you can't squeeze me. I ain't easy, I ain't sleazy. I got reasons why I tease them. Boys just come and go like seasons. Fergalicious. So delicious. But I ain't promiscuous, and if you were suspicious, all that is fictitious. I blow kisses. That puts them boys on rock, rock, and they be lining down the block just to watch what I got. So delicious. It's hot, hot. And now your finalist, sitting in lane number one, representing the Cascade Swim Club, Ella Varga. In lane number two, from the Point Claire Swim Club, Ella Janvier. Swimming in lane number three, from the Oakville Aquatic Club, Mabel Zavaros. In lane number four, from the Island Swimming Club, Jade Hanna. In lane number five, from the Granite Gator Swim Team, Kennedy Goss. Swimming in lane number six, from the Oakville Aquatic Club, Rosie Savaros. And lane number seven, from the Greater Ottawa Kingfish, Regan Rathwell. 
swimming in lane of race from the Kodiak Vikings Aquatic Club, Brooklyn Dothright. These are your finalists in the women's 200 meter backstroke, Mr. Referee. And off we go in the women's 200 meter backstroke, top seed in lane number four, Jade Hanna. She's a member of this summer World Junior Championship team. She's already a three time World Junior Champion. 2017, she is our top seed, swimming 212.70 this morning in preliminaries. She was fourth in this event at the Canadian Trials back in April. She's out in front in a 30.319 hundredths of a second ahead of Regan Rathwell. Rathwell finished eighth at the Canadian Trials and she is out nearly a half second better than she was. At the first 50 meters, Hannah in lane number four followed by Rathwell in lane number seven. And then a very close field here as they come to the hundred wall. It is Hannah in four followed by Rathwell in lane number seven. At the 100 meter mark, Hannah turns first in a 103.36. Three tenths back is Rathwell in seven, followed by Zavaros in lane at number three. And right there with her is Kennedy Goss in five. Watch out for Goss. She has all sorts of experience, including a bronze medal at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. She did that event in the women's four by 200 meter freestyle relay. And Goss starting to move up and eat up real estate here in lane number five as they come to the very last wall. It's Hannah and Rathwell followed by Goss. Jade Hannah turning him 137.4, a half second up of Rathwell. And here comes Kennedy Goss charging hard in lane number five. Hannah now 25 meters left to go just ahead of a hard charging Goss in lane at number five. She has gotten up and passed Rathwell. It is Hannah and Goss just over five meters left to go now in the girls 200 meter backstroke. And it is Jade Hannah in a 2-11-5-0. Second goes to Goss in lane number five and third to Regan Rathwell in lane seven. From my boat, so you can see me, you can't squeeze me. I ain't easy, I ain't sleazy. I got reasons why I tease and boys just come and go like seasons for delicious. But I ain't promiscuous, and if you were suspicious, all that is fictitious. I blow kisses that puts them boys on rock, rock, and they be lining down the block just to watch what I got. So delicious. It's hot, hot, so delicious. And results on the board are official. On to our next heat. This is event number two, the men's 200 meter backstroke. Heat number one will be our B final, Mr. Referee.
And off we go in the men's 200 meter backstroke, the B final. Swimming in lane number one. From the Cascade Swim Club, Laird Douglas. Lane number two from the UBC Thunderbirds, Dimitri Lim. Lane three from the University of Calgary Swim Club, Peter Brothers. Lane number four from the Cascade Swim Club, Sebastian Somerset. Lane five from Point Claire, Charles Millette. Lane six from the University of Calgary Swim Club, Daniel Gerlach. Lane number seven from Fredericton Aquatics, Jacob Gallant. And at lane number eight from Point Claire, Philippe Robbins. And through the first 100 meters, it's Somerset in lane at number four. He is a member of Canada's World Junior Championship team. Got a best time of 2.0012. Swam a 2.05.76 to be the top seed here tonight in the B final. And Somerset in lane number four going through in a 132.77. Four tenths of a second ahead of Charles Millet in lane number five. And we've got a race here between our two 18-year-olds in four and five. Great underwater by Somerset to get out and pass. Charles Millette, less than 25 meters left to go now. And it is the finish of the B final. By the men's 200-meter backstroke going to lane number four, Cascade Swim Club, Sebastian Somerset. 204-33. And the results on the board are official. Up next, medal presentations for the women's 200 meter backstroke. And we'll turn our attention now down to the far end of the pool where we'll once again join Mr. Jeff Hanadiak from Sport Manitoba for presentations in the women's 200 meter backstroke. Medal presentations, bronze medal is going to Regan Rathwell from Greater Ottawa. Silver medal, currently going to the Granite Gators, Kennedy Goss. And your gold medalist from Island Swimming, winning the event in a 2-11-5-0, Jade Hanna. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are your medalists in the women's 200 meter backstroke. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the pool deck your A finalists in the men's 200 meter backstroke. Now the A finalist in the men's 200 meter backstroke, 
Swimming in lane number one, representing the Nanaimo Riptide swim team, Tayden Tapool. Swimming in lane number two, from the UBC Thunderbirds, Dimitri Lim. Sorry, that is Robert Hill from the University of Calgary Swim Club. In lane number three, from Island Swimming, Josh Zakala. Swimming in lane number four, from the University of Calgary Swim Club, Richie Stokes. In lane number five, from the Cascade Swim Club, Cole Pratt. In lane number six, representing China Swim Club, William Merwa. Swimming in lane seven, from the Langley Olympian Swim Club, Hugh McNeil. And in lane number eight, from China, Nicholas Duke. These are your men's finalists in the 200 meter backstroke, Mr. Referee. Great underwater here from our swimmers. Top seed in lane number four, Richie Stokes, won a lifetime best time this morning at 2.02.08. Cole Pratt beside him in lane at number five, just back from the World Championships where he finished 26th overall in this event. He's a national age group record holder at a 158.07. Rob Hill in lane number two was 16th at the World Student Games in Naples, Italy. It's Pratt out in front through the first 50 meters at a 28.22. Two tenths of a second ahead of Josh Zakala. Zakala finished eighth in this event at the Canadian Trials. He's got a best time of 2.01.86. And swimmers all out much quicker than they were this morning. William Merwa in lane number six has got a best time of 2.05. He's right up there with Cole Pratt, the race leader in lane number four as the two of them swim. One tenth apart, it's Marwa in lane number six at 59.3. A tenth of a second ahead of Pratt. Here comes Richie Stokes though. Two tenths back, he turned at 59.6 at the 100. He is moving now in lane number four. Richie Stokes, University of Calgary, making a drive here on the third 50. And her swimmers this morning were 129, 131 at the 150 meter mark. Stokes now with the lead in lane number four. As he turns in 130.5, three tenths of a second up on Pratt. Marwa in six is right there as well. And it's coming down to the last 50 on this one. 25 meters to go for Stokes in four, Pratt in five. And Stokes and Pratt having a great go at it here at the end of our men's 200 meter backstroke. And it looks like it will go Lane number five, Cole Pratt in a time of 20096. Silver goes to Stokes in lane number four with the bronze going to William Marwa in lane six. Results on the board are official. We're going to move on to our next A final. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your swimmers in the women's 50 meter freestyle para multi class.
Swimming in lane number one from the Saskatoon Lasers is Shelby Newkirk. In lane at number two, representing the Cascade Swim Club, Morgan Bird. Swimming in lane at number three, from the Surrey Knights, Ariana Hunsaker. In lane number four, from the University of Laval, Orly Rivard. In lane five, from Neptune, Natasio, Samantha Ryan. Swimming in lane number six, from the Aqua Aces Swim Club, Katarina Roxon. And lane number seven from KYPS, Abby Tripp. And in lane number eight from the Mustangs, Miriam Soliman. These are your finalists in the women's para multi-class 50 meter freestyle. Madam referee. As this is a multi-class event, final placings will be determined by points as we compare the different classes of paraswimmers in this final. Top seed by time in lane number four is Rivard. She swam 28.80 this morning. She is swimming in the S10 category. And at the wall, touching first, it is Rivard in a 28.22. Hitting the wall second is Hunziker in lane number three, followed by Samantha Ryan in lane five. Once again, final placings of the 50 meter freestyle for the para multi-class event will be determined by points. And the times on the board are good. We'll be back with official placings and results later on this evening. Here we go with our next set of finalists. These are your men in event number four, our para multi-class 50 meter freestyle. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. First up, we have our set of awards. And the men's 200 meter backstroke. Up first before that 50 meter freestyle, we do have awards in the men's 200 meter backstroke. This is medal presentations in the men's 200 meter backstroke, winning the bronze medal, representing the China Swim Club, William Marwa. Bronze medal going to China Swim Club's William Marwa. Silver medal going to the University of Calgary Swim Club's 
Richie Stokes. And your gold medalist swinging the event at a time of 20096, representing the Cascade Swim Club, Cole Pratt. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your medalists in the men's 200 meter backstroke. And now, now we're moving on to our next final. This is the men's 50 meter freestyle in the para multi class. Swimming in lane number one from CNQ, Nicholas Plamondon. In lane number two, from Samak, Kalik Thomas Cowan. Swimming in lane number three, from the Cobra Swim Club, Matthew Cabrasia. In lane number four, from CNQ, Nicholas Key Turbid. In lane number five, from the University of Laval, Alexander Elliott. Swimming in lane number six from the Newmarket Stingrays, Caleb Arndt. In lane number seven from Mego, Philippe Fashon. And in lane number eight from the St. James Seals, Matt Miller. Your finalist in the men's 50 meter freestyle multi class, Matt Mefferie. And off they go, the top seed by time in lane number four is Turbid. He was 25-9-2 this morning in prelims. Elliott beside him in lane number five, just a tenth of a second back at 26-09. And it's going to be in lane number four, Turbid winning in a 25-5-6. Second to Elliott in lane number five, and third to Cabrasia in lane three. Up next, we'll be moving on to event number five, which is the women's 50 meter freestyle event. Times on the board are good. We'll be back with official results later on this evening. This is event number five, the women's 50 meter freestyle, heat number one, the B final, Mr. Referee.
This is the B final of the 50 meter freestyle. Top seed in lane number four, Raphael Dandois Sampson from Neptune, 26.69 this morning. Two one hundredths of a second ahead of Dylan Scholes in lane number five. And it is Brooklyn Dothright in lane number seven, winning our B final, 26.04. Results on the board are official. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, your A finalists in the 50 meter freestyle. Swimming in lane number one. From Camo, Charlotte Bushiman. In lane number two, from Saint Eustache, Mary Lou Lapointe. Swimming in lane number three, from the University of Manitoba, Sarah Watson. In lane number four, from CNQ, Sarah Fournier. Swimming in lane number five, from Neptune, Natasha. Roxanne Lebu. Swimming in lane number six from Camel, Ariana Mainville. Swimming in lane seven from the Mantle Swim Club, Oksana Chaput. And in lane number eight from Cote Saint Lac Aquatic, Ainsley McMurray. These are your finalists in the women's 50 meter freestyle, Mr. Referee. Fournier in lane number four, the top seed at 25-5-9. A great start out of lane number three, though. Sarah Watson, University of Manitoba. Watson this morning, a 26-11. Very tight field at the close and at the finish. It is Sarah Fournier winning in a time of 25-7-6. Second going to Lemieux in lane number five, and third going to Ainsley McMurray in lane eight. Results on the board are official. On to our next event, which is event number six, and this is the men's 50 meter freestyle, our first heat up. Heat number one, our B final, Mr. Referee. Off they go in lane number four, the top seed in the B final is 17 year old Justin Baker from North York Aquatics, 23.58 this morning. He was five one hundredths of a second ahead of the Columbia Shoe Swaps, James Labuke in five. At the wall and at the finish it is James Labuke winning in a time of 23.62.
Results on the board are official. And here come your A finalists in the men's 50 meter freestyle. A finalist now swimming in lane number one from Camo, Owen Daly. Swimming in lane number two from the University of Laval, Philippe Marco. Swimming in lane three from the Point Claire Swim Club, Spencer Fuji. And lane number four from the University of Laval, Raphael Marco. Swimming in lane number five from the Toronto Swim Club, Alexander Logadov. In lane six from the Manta Swim Club, Ruslan Gatsev. Swimming in lane seven from Camo, Guillermo Cruz Zuniga. And in lane number eight, from Neptune Natacion, Edouard Fulham Ladies and gentlemen, these are your A finalists in the men's 50 meter freestyle. Mr. Referee. Off they go, Marco in lane at number four. Dropped a big whack of time this morning to be the top seed. He went 22.66 this morning. First time under that 23 second mark for Marco. And the swimmer from the University of Laval in lane number four, the top seed. And it is Marco again, 22.58. Second going to Gatsev in lane number six and Bronze going to log it off in lane number five. We will be having medal presentations immediately following this event for both the women and the men in the 50 meter freestyle. And the results on the board are official. Next up will be medal presentations for our women in the 50 meter freestyle. First set of awards will be for the women's 50 meter freestyle event. We'll be having the awards for our Paris swimmers a little bit later. First up, medal presentations in event number five, the women's 50 meter freestyle. And just before we get underway with that event, we will announce that we do have a disqualification in event number six, the men's 50 meter freestyle. Heat two, lane number one, has been disqualified. Once again, disqualification 
in the men's 50 meter freestyle, he too, the A final, lane number one, has been disqualified. And we're just waiting our medalists, and we will be doing presentations next in the women's 50-meter freestyle. We now have our three medalists to the podium. Yeah, I'm going to take my horse to the hotel road. I'm going to ride till I can't no more. I'm going to take my horse to the hotel road. I'm going to ride till I can't no more. I got the horses in the bag. Horse stock is attached. And now the medal presentations for the women's 50 meter freestyle. Winning the bronze medal from the Cote St. Luke Aquatics, Ainsley McMurray. Silver medal going to Neptune Natacion's Roxanne Lemieux. And your gold medalist winning the event in a time of 25.76. Representing Club de Natation Région de Quebec, Sarah Fournier. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your medalists in the women's 50 meter freestyle. Next set of medal presentations will be for event number six, the men's 50 meter freestyle. Winning the bronze medal, representing the Toronto Swim Club Alexander Logadoff. Silver medal going to the Manta Swim Club's Ruslan Gatsyev. And the gold medalist winning the event in a time of 22.58 seconds, representing University of Laval, Raphael Marco. These are your medalists in the men's 50 meter freestyle. Now on to our next event, which is event number seven. This is the women's 200 meter breaststroke. This will be heat number one of two, our B final, Mr. Referee.
who will be doing awards presentations for both the women and the men in the pair of 50 meter freestyle immediately following this race. So we can have our medalists in the women's and the men's pair of 50 meter freestyle make their way down to the awards podium. In the water now is event number seven, the B final, swimming in lane number one from the University of Calgary Swim Club, Allison McCloy, lane number two. From the Regina Dolphins, Bree Crookshanks, lane number three. From Neptune Natacion, Lily Shikoin, lane number four. From the Sioux Surge Aquatic Team, Olivia Starzomsky, lane five. From the Olympian Swim Club, Tegan Brzovsky, lane six. From China, Chaoyun Guan, lane seven. From the Greater Ottawa Kingfish, Peyton Maloney, and in lane number eight. From Elite, Corinne Vesina. At the 100 meter mark, Sarmowski in lane number four. Out in front at a 115, 242, two, one hundredths of a second ahead of Maloney in seven. Starzomski in lane four, 236, 22 this morning in prelims. And she got her hands full there. Tegan Brzovsky from the Olympian Swim Club in lane number five, starting to move up as they come to the very last wall. It's Brzovsky with a eight one hundredth of a second lead over lane number six, Guan, right there with them as well as both lane seven and lane four. Top five swimmers separated by five tenths of a second. And it's lane number six, Guan with the lead from China as they come to the close and finish less than five meters to go now. And there it is, winning our B final in the time of 2.36.12. It's lane number six, Chaoyan Guan from China. Results on the board are official. And now, ladies and gentlemen, turn your attention down to the far end of the pool. We have medal presentations now in the 50 meter freestyle for our para multi class event. First up will be the women. Now event number three, the women's para multi-class 50 meter freestyle medal presentations. Winning the bronze medal, representing the Cascade Swim Club, Morgan Bird. Winning the silver medal, representing the Saskatoon Lasers, Shelby Newkirk. And winning the event at the time of 28-2-2, which scored her 958 points in the para category, representing University of Laval, Orly Brevard.
Ladies and gentlemen, these are your medalists in the women's 50 meter freestyle para multi class event. Next up will be medal presentations for event number four, which is the men's para multi class 50 meter freestyle. Winning the bronze medal from University of Laval, Alexander Elliott. Winning the silver medal, representing CNQ, Nicholas Guy Turbide. And winning the gold medal in time of 2782, which is 880 points from the Cobra Swim Club, Matthew Cabrasia. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your medalists in the men's para multi class 50 meter freestyle. And here come our next set of finalists. These are your A finalists in the women's 200 meter breaststroke. All my the window screaming money in the thing. Call it automatic bang, bang, bang. Call it automatic bang, bang, bang. Bobby switch lanes, diamonds in my chain. Been around the world, all the know my name. Call it automatic bang, bang, bang. It's that automatic bang, bang, bang. Lily belt match the chucks. I'm in the club with Ron. Swimming in lane number one, representing the Langley Olympian Swim Club, Bailey Herbert. And lane number two from the Regina Dolphin Swim Team, Emma Spence. Swimming in lane number three from the Olympian Swim Club, Avery Wiseman. Swimming in lane number four from Etobicoke Swimming, Sophia Carnival. Swimming in lane number five from the Toronto Swim Club, Miranda Stever. Swimming in lane six from Red Deer Catalina, Elizabeth Moore. And lane number seven from the Point Claire Swim Club, Katrina Braithwaite. And in lane number eight, representing the Toronto Swim Club, Keisha Pavacek. Mr. Referee. Carnival in lane number four is the top seed. She swam 232.09. She was 15th in this event at the Canadian Trials back in April. Top seed here tonight at 232.05. Four tenths of a second behind her in lane five. That's the Toronto Swim Club's Miranda Seaver. Seaver fifth at the Canadian Trials in this event as they go through the first 50 meters. Carnival in 33.07, seven tenths of a second faster than she was in this morning's prelims. Followed by Stever in five, and then Katrina Braithwaite swimming in lane number seven, sitting third. And Carnival. Out and she was 112.38 this morning in preliminary. She's a body length up on Stever and Braithwaite as they come to the 100 ball. 110.51, nearly two full seconds better than this morning. Looking to get down to that lifetime best time of hers at 230.98. And we'll watch for Stever on the back end of this race. She's got a best time at 227. 
Stever in lane number five, trying to make a move as is Braithwaite in lane number seven. The swimmers coming down to that last wall. Now this will be the 150 meter mark. Carnival out in front, followed by Stever. And then Braithwaite in lane seven. 150.13, two seconds faster than this morning. She's gonna come very close to breaking that 230 mark. We'll see if she can hold on here over the last 25 meters. Here comes Stever in five. Wiseman in lane number three from the Olympians also moving up, challenging for a podium spot. And look at this finish out of lane number five. Toronto Swim Club's Miranda Stever digging deep here over the last 25 meters to pull into the lead. At the finish it is lane number five. Miranda Stever winning in a 230.19. Carnival takes the silver and bronze. Goes to Avery Wiseman from the Olympians in lane three. Cooler than cool whip, your brain don't be stupid. Faded like boozy, cut like a cool neck. Arm out the window, another check, another Rolex. More less, the more wet, the more sex. I must say, I border the PJ. More than a piss test. I wake up, I wake up, my ex trying to make up. Wake up, telling these boobies to get their cake up. Wake up, shooting my babies all on her makeup. I'm running through these hoes, Brandon Jacobs. Lambo doors up, sitting just like her legs. Heat it off from the club, leather. Wow, when I switch lanes, then them doors swing. Arm out the window, screaming money in the thing. Call it automatic bang, bang, bang. Call it automatic bang, bang, bang. Why we switch lanes? Diamonds in my chain. Been around the world, all the know my name. Call it automatic bang, bang, bang. Mr. that automatic bang. Results on the board are official. Our next heat now, this is an event number eight, the men's 200 meter backstroke. Heat number one, this is our B final. Mr. Referee. In the water go your B finalists in the men's 200 meter breaststroke. Swimming in lane number one from Crest Swimming, it's Kevin Park. Lane two from the Point Claire Swim Club, Eric Peltier. Lane three from Camo, Annie Shibby. Lane number four from the Toronto Swim Club, Owen Huang. Lane five from the Milton Marlins, Graham Allward. Lane six from Cascade, Matt Ketchen. Lane seven from Fredericton, Jacob Gallant. And in lane number eight from the University of Calgary, Aiden Luknar. <laughs> Top seed in lane number four from Toronto, 222.17 was the time put up by Owen Huang. But it should be in lane number three, just two tenths of a second. Out ahead of Wang, turning in 107.9. That is lane number three, Camo's Annie Chevy. With the lead, but it's a blanket heat. Lanes three, four, five, six, and seven. All swimming together as they come to that last wall and that last turn. Wang in lane at number four, the slight advantage as they come to the 150 meter mark. Kevin Park though in lane number one, 144.6, a tenth of a second ahead of Chevy. And Park in lane number one from Crest Swimming, having a real go at this one. Trying to pull a sneak attack here in lane one. But here comes Jacob Gallant. Look at this finish out of lane number seven. The swimmer from Fredericton having a great close. But the B final goes to 
Looks like Kevin Park at by one tenth of a second in a time of 221 <laughs> I'ma be on the next lap. I'ma be rocking over that bass trap. I'ma be chilling with my mother, mother crew. I'ma be making all them does you wanna do. I'ma be up in the May list flicks, doing one handed flips. And I'ma be sipping on drink. Cause I'ma be shaking my hips. You gon' be licking your lips. I'ma be taking them pics, looking all fly and shit. And with that disqualification, the results on the board are now official. Turn our attention now down to the far end of the pool. Where we will have awards presentations for the women's 200 meter breaststroke. Awards now in the women's 200 meter breaststroke. The bronze medal going to the Olympian swim clubs, Avery Wiseman. Silver medal going into Etobicoke swimming, Sophia Carnival. And your gold medalist representing the Toronto Swim Club winning the event in a time of 230.19, Miranda Stever. These are your medalists in the women's 200 meter breaststroke. Disqualification from her last heat was an event number eight, the men's 200 meter breaststroke, the B final. Heat number one, lane seven, was disqualified. Now moving to our next final. These are your A finalists in the men's 200 meter breaststroke. Introducing your finalist, swimming in lane number one, representing the Greater Ottawa Kingfish, Montana Champagne. Swimming in lane number two, from the Mississauga Aquatics, Simon Shi. Swimming in lane three, from Sherbrooke, Jonathan Naseby. In lane number four, from the Toronto Swim Club, Eli Ball. Swimming in lane five from the Kishu Swim Club, Taryn LaFranc. In lane six from the Edmonton Keanu Swim Club, Frederick Kaminga. Swimming in lane seven from the Kenora Swimming Sharks, Gabe Mastro Mateo. In lane number eight from the UBC Thunderbird Swim Club, Brody Young. These are your A finalists in the men's 200 meter breaststroke, Mr. Referee.
And off we go in this one. Wall, he's been to 11. He's a top seed in lane number four. Lane seven, Gabe Mastro Mateo, just back from the World Championships where he was 39th overall in the world in this event. At the first 50, it is lane number four, Eli Wall out in 30.2, a half second better than this morning. Naysby looking strong, a tenth of a second back in lane at number three, Freddie Kaminga from Edmonton Keanu sitting in the top three in lane six. And Master Mateo in lane number seven back to work as he prepares for the World Junior Championships. Trying to get up into a podium finish here as we come to the 100 meter mark. And it is Wall in lane number four, 105 1 this morning. And there he goes through it at 103 8, more than a full second better. Naseby sitting second in three. LaFranc in lane number five, moving up into third. And Jared LaFranc from Kisu has moved into a podium spot here in lane number five. As they try and get up to the race leader, Eli Wall in lane number four. He's got a full body length on LaFranc, who has moved into second now. Just ahead of Naseby as they come to that 150-meter wall. Wall turning in 138.5. He's two full seconds better than this morning. LaFranc is second. Naseby is third. A great third 50 out of Jaron LaFranc from Kishu to move up into second in lane five. And just over 15 meters left to go for your two leaders. Wall in lane four. Look at LaFranc come in lane number five. He's almost up to Wall with just over five meters left to go. At the touch, Eli Wall, 214-26. Second going to Jared LaFranc in lane number five. And third to Freddie Kaminga in lane six from Edmonton Keanu. That disqualification in lane number eight. The results on the board are official. And here we go with our next set of finalists. These are your finalists in the women's 400 meter freestyle para multi class event. Never control you. I ain't gonna front you. Keep 
do 100, I don't know ya. Boss like top dog, boss my life up, crossing over. Started stepping, got a hall of fame and all my poster. I've been ready, my whip been ready, my been ready, my click been ready, my been ready, my checks been ready. My and introducing a finalist now, the four meter freestyle. Simming in lane number one from Point Claire, Colleen Cloetta. In lane number two, representing the Cascade Swim Club, Morgan Bird. In lane number three, from Sumanta, Ottawa, Natasha Sexton Quillen. In lane number four, also from the Cascade Swim Club, Peyton Morey. In lane five, from the Surrey Knights, Ariana Hunsaker. In lane six, from the University of Laval, Sabrina Duchesne. In lane seven, from Flatland Swimming, Crystal Shaw. And in lane number eight, representing North York Aquatic Club, Michelle Tovizzi. Your finalist in the 400 meter freestyle women's para multi-class event, Madam Referee. And off we go in this one, the 400 meter freestyle. Top seed in lane number four, Peyton Morey. Youngest swimmer in the field. No, she's not, she's 15. The youngest swimmer is Cloetta in lane number one. Just 14 years old. Morey dropped six seconds off her lifetime best this morning, swimming a 508.9. Be the top seed in this event as we come to the first 100 meters. It is Mori out with Hunziker right beside her in lane number five from Surrey. Mori going through it at 1 a second faster than she was this morning. Hunziker out two seconds quicker in 1 12 2. Your race leaders distancing themselves from the field here. Already through 125 meters, Mori and Hunsaker. Followed by lane at number six, Sabrina Duchesne from Laval. We'll have awards presentations immediately following this race in the men's 200 meter breaststroke. Once again, awards presentations to follow immediately after this race in the men's 200 meter breaststroke. And Maury and lane number four still doing a great job at this one. As she comes to the 200 meter wall, she was 230.36 this morning. And there goes Maury, cracking that 2.30 mark at 2.39.33. Hunsaker is 2.36, she's three seconds faster at 2.33.00. And followed by Deshane swimming for Laval in lane number six. Really 
And this is a 300 meter mark. Maury still out in front. Maury right on pace of where she was this morning, about three tenths faster at 350.16. Hunsaker turning at 355.9. She is five full seconds better than she was this morning. Couple of body lengths behind. Maury third is Duchesne in lane number six. She's about three seconds ahead of Morgan Bird in two. Final placings once again determined by points, not necessarily by time. We will be presenting our awards for our para swimmers in the 400 meter freestyle at the end of the night. As we come to the last wall for Peyton Morey in lane four. Just dropped about a half second slower than she was this morning as she has a little bit less than 50 meters to go. <laughs> 25 meters to go for your race leader in lane number four, Peyton Morey from the Cascade Swim Club, closing out this girls' 400 meter freestyle pair of multi-class event. And here it is, going to Peyton Morey in lane number four. Fastest swimmer tonight in a 5'10", 4'8". Second to the wall is lane at number five. Ariana Hunsaker in 5'19", 3'5". And rounding out the top three will be lane number six. That's University of Laval, Sabrina Duchesne. And just a reminder that up next, immediately following this race, we will have medal presentations in the men's 200 meter breaststroke. And the results on the board are good. So next up, we'll be moving on to medal presentations for the men's 200 meter breaststroke. Turn our attention down to the far end underneath the scoreboard. Awards in the men's 200 meter breaststroke, your bronze medal, going to the Edmonton Keanu Swim Club's Frederick Kaminga. Winning the silver medal representing Kishu Swim Club, Jaron LaFranc. And your gold medalist winning the event in a time of 214-26, representing the Toronto Swim Club, Eli Wall.
Ladies and gentlemen, these are your medalists in the men's 200 meter breaststroke. Next up, here comes, and please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, your A finalists in the men's para multi class 400 meter freestyle. And here now your A finalists in the men's pair of multi-class 400 meter freestyle. Coming in lane number one, representing Simak, Felix Thomas Cowan. In lane number two, from the New Market Stingrays, Caleb Arndt. Swimming in lane number three, from NHAC, Zach Zona. In lane number four, from Club Natation Quebec, Nicolas Plamondon. Swimming in lane five from Mego, Philippe Vachon. Swimming in lane six, representing the Cobra Swim Club, Matthew Cabrasia. In lane seven from the Fort McMurray Swim Club, Hunter Helberg. And in lane number eight from the Ottawa Y Olympians, Nicholas Scott. These are your finalists in the men's 400 meter freestyle para multi-class, Madame Referee. Top seed by time in lane number four, Plamonda, and it was at 4.52, 1 4 this morning. He was out in a 1 and 10 and 78. With the lead in lane number three, it's Zach Zona. He gets to the 100 meter mark out in front. 107.94, nearly two and a half seconds better than he was this morning, cracking that 110. Zona followed by Plamondon, and then it's Arndt sitting in third right now in lane two. Up next, as to this 400 meter freestyle, we have our two relay events, followed by awards for the relays, as well as our pair of 400 meter freestyle events. And it's gonna be the halfway point for your race leader in lane number three, Zach Zona. 
Swims a part of the S8 category. He was 50208. This morning at split at 226. 79 as Zona goes through the 200 meter mark out in front. 220.6, six seconds better than this morning. Lamondon in lane in number four and sitting in second. A second back in 221.9. Followed by Vashon in lane number five. On to the back half of this final of the men's 400 meter freestyle para multi class. Bash on in lane number five, starting to make his way up to our two race leaders. 150 meters left to go in this one. And Vashon has closed the gap. He's eight tenths of a second behind Plamondon. And Zona sits only a half second up. Swimming in lane number three. Here come Plamondon and Vashon in four and five. They've caught up to Zona. And just 100 meters left to go in our 400 meter freestyle para multi class event. And Vashon in lane number five now taking the lead as he turns in 334.6, eight tenths of a second up on Plamondon. Zona sitting in third in lane three. All of these swimmers much faster than they were this morning. And Vashon in lane number five. Full second out. Ahead of Plamondon as they come here to the finish. And there we go, first to the wall is Vashon in five, followed by Plamondon in lane number four. And rounding out the top three is Zach Zona in lane three. Results on the board are now official. Introducing our A finalists, our top eight seeded teams here in the 800 meter freestyle relay for the women. Swimming in lane number two, the Oakville Aquatic Club. In lane number three, the Oakville Aquatic Club A team. In lane number four, Edmonton Keanu. Swimming in lane number five, Neptune Natasio. In lane six, the Point Claire Swim Club. And in lane number seven, the B team from Neptune Natasio. 
These are your top teams in the women's 800 meter freestyle relay. Mr. Referee. Off we go with this one. It is in lane number one, Ella Nagy, and lane number two, Mabel Zavaros. So it's lane two and lane three. Lane four is Christy Lang. Lane number five, Raphael Dandwa Sampson. Lane six, Stephanie Hussey. Lane number seven, Florence Lafontaine Jaguer.
je suis que j'ai toujours voulu être Honnête dans ce monde d'infidèle Quand je t'ai dit que mon rêve c'était de faire l'amour Un peu plus tard c'était d'aimer pour toujours Ouais j'avance un peu à tous les jours Un peu moins jeune, un peu moins con and the results on the board are good. Moving on and introducing you to our final teams here in event number 12. This is the men's 800 meter freestyle. Swimming in lane number two. The University of Victoria Pacific Coast Swimming. In lane three, the Point Claire Swim Club. In lane four, Neptune Natacion. In lane number five, University de Laval. And lane number six, the Edmonton Keanu Swim Club. Mr. Referee. Great finish, an exciting finish in the women's 800 meter freestyle relay. We will, we will in the water for our first leg in lane two, it's Kale Murdoch. Lane number three, Philippe Robbins. Lane number four, Vincent Lapierre. Lane number five, Pierre Adrian Samard. And in lane number six, Kier Priswet. Murdoch for the University of Victoria Pacific Coast out in front in a 54-02. First 100 meters, Neptune sitting second in lane four. We will be having awards presentations for the women's relay. And then the men's relay immediately following this heat. And right after that, the para medal presentations and the 400 meter freestyle for both the women and the men. And it's going to be Murdoch from the University of Victoria. Coming in first at a 151-0, a second ahead of Neptune. With Vincent Lapierre into the water for University of Victoria. It is Patrick Macerville for Neptune. It is Thomas lafontaine Jiguer, And then diving in third in lane number six, Mackenzie Flowers. Patrick still out in front in lane number two, but only by a tenth of a second ahead of Edmonton Keanu. Keanu in lane number six with Mackenzie Flowers moving into second right on the cusp of getting to the front. And here comes Neptune's Thomas Lafontaine Jaguer. As the lead slips away from the University of Victoria, it is Keanu and Neptune now out in front. 
Just by a couple tenths of a second though, Neptune was seven one hundreds back of Keanu. Keanu looking to win, take back to pack wins here after winning the women's relay. And third leg is gonna fall to Keanu's Nathan for slice. For Neptune, it'll be Liam Desjardins. And diving in third now in lane number five for Lavelle, that's Raphael Marco. And now the field has all come together here. Lanes two, three, four, five, and six. Coming to the 600 meter mark. 500 meter mark, sorry, it's gonna be lane number three out in front, Point Claire. With Emil going, now turning at 442.5. Point Claire is taking the lead for the first time in this race. Up ahead of Neptune and Edmonton Keanu. Laval now moving up into that third position in five. Second and a half separates these top five teams. Point Claire with the lead in lane number three. Anchor legs getting ready. We're going to be Patrick Hussey. Four Point Claire. Four Laval. It's going to be Nathan Baduan Balduk. And for Neptune in lane number four, Bernard Goldafan. Into the wall goes Laval. Followed by Neptune and then Edmonton Keanu moving into third. They've got Sterling Blair on the anchor. Laval, Neptune, and then Edmonton Keanu. Point Claire in lane number three with Patrick Hussey trying to get back up and get his team onto the podium. Neptune taking the lead over from Laval by two tenths of a second in lane number four. Laval sits second. Point Claire is third. One hundred meters left to go in lane a number four as Neptune's Bernard Goldafan is carrying a couple of tenth of a lead over Laval in lane number five. Point Claire trying to get onto the podium. They are moving up in lane number three with Hussey. Keanu is trying to hold on in lane six. And another exciting finish to the night here in the 4 x 200 meter freestyle relay. It was a great race in the women, and it's a great race here in the men. A half second between La Passion and the Val. And look at this finish, ladies and gentlemen. Golda Fan in four, Bedouin Bolduc in five. It's going to be too close to call. They're at the flags together. And it's Neptune by one one hundredth of a second, 734-34 to 734-35. Point Claire takes the bronze in lane three.
And the results on the board are official. Up next, award presentations in the women's 4x200 meter freestyle relay. Medal presentations for event number 11, the women's 800 meter freestyle relay. Winning the bronze medal. Representing the Point Claire Swim Club, Stephanie Hussey, Megan Willer, Sheen Damon, and Laura Willer. Once again, bronze medal presentation to the Point Claire Swim Club, Stephanie Hussey, Megan Willer, Sheen Damon, and Laura Willer. Silver medal going to the Oakville Aquatic Club, Mabel Zavaros, Sarah Molson, Asia Lecky, and Dylan Scholes. Now winning the gold medal in a time of 8.18.35. Representing the Edmonton Keanu Swim Club, Christy Lang, Gabrielle Dunn, Tegan Vanderleek, and Emma O'Cronin. Gentlemen, these are your medalists in the women's 800 meter freestyle relay. Next up, medal presentations for your men's 800 meter freestyle relay. the bronze medal representing the Point Claire Swim Club Philippe Robbins Maximilian Hunger Emil Goyne and Patrick Hussey
your silver medalist, representing University of Laval, Pierre Adrian Samard, Samuel Belanger, Raphael Marco, and Nathan Bedouin Bodoc. Now your gold medal winning team, winning the event by one one hundredth of a second at a time of 734-34, representing Neptune Natation, Vincent Lapere, Thomas Lafontaine Jiguer, Liam Desjardins, and Bernard Godofan. These are your medalists in the men's 800 meter freestyle relay. Next up, medal presentations in the pair of women's 400 meter freestyle event. Medal presentations for event number nine, the women's 400 meter freestyle para multi-class event. Winning the bronze medal, representing the Cascade Swim Club, Morgan Bird. Silver medal, also going to the Cascade Swim Club, Peyton Morey. And your gold medalist, winning in a new S7 Canadian record, time of 5 at 29 at 2 1. Breaking her own Canadian record from the University of Laval, Sabrina Duchesne. These are your medalists in the women's 400 meter freestyle para multi class event. Next up will be medal presentations for event number 10. This is the men's 400 meter freestyle para multi class. Winning the bronze medal from Megal, Philippe Vachon. Winning the silver medal from NHAC, Zach Zona.
And your gold medalist winning the event in a time of 501-22, scoring 825 pair of points from the Cobra Swim Club, Matthew Cabresia. Ladies and gentlemen, your medalist in the men's 400 meter freestyle para multi class event. This brings us to a conclusion of day one finals here at the 2019 Canadian Swimming Championships. Special thank you to the volunteers and officials for all of their hard work today. And a special thank you to the swimmers and coaches and teams for those great performances tonight. We'll see you all back here tomorrow morning for day number two at the 2019 Canadian Swimming Championships.